so today I'm going to be talking about how to clean your vintage cameras. Look at that old thing. That's probably almost a hundred years old. This is a really old beast too. So when you get these cameras, sometimes you go to the uh, Goodwill or the thrift store or auction or tag sale, yard sale, and you pick up a camera, you bring it home and it's all dirty. How are you going to clean it? It's my camera cleaning kit. So with a kit like this, you can clean a lot of vintage cameras. If you don't have the tools, you can't do the job. The way that I start is with a cotton cloth. This is part of an old t-shirt with warm, soapy water. That's the first. So you wanna go and just wipe off the top layer of crud and grunge things sitting around in closets and basements and garages and storage units they get all covered with dust and who knows what so you just want to take the top layer of dirt off that's pretty easy uh, old t-shirts are what I like it's nice soft cloth you want to make sure that it's not a piece of a cloth that has a button or a rivet that's going to scratch something so that's your first layer another very useful item is credit cards. Take an old credit card and you cut it up like this. There it is. And what are you going to do with the credit card is you can make uh, sharp points on there and if you need to get in some little nook or cranny it's always a difficult spot to get. So if you put your cloth over a pointed credit card you can get in there in a nice little space. That's a neat trick. And as you need more little spots you just keep slicing up your credit cards. And you know what? That's the only use I have for credit cards at this point in my life. Another thing is a blower. Dust off some of this dust, especially for lenses. So um, when you're using this, it's going to blow the parts of dust loose. So if you hold it this way, gravity is going to help you. This is going to blow it loose and the gravity is going to help the uh, little parts of dust to fall down. So, so far we've got the cloth, we've got the credit card, we've got the blower. Uh, this is a cotton swab, so you can use that for cleaning your camera too. I use it with warm uh, soapy water and sometimes you can use uh, alcohol. Just make sure you're using the correct alcohol, the denatured alcohol. So that's another useful tool. Toothpicks, those are cheap and easy. Toothpicks can get in some of those little spaces. Like look at the, all these little gears, these little teeth in here. You can use a toothpick to get all of those items. And if you have labels on things, to remove the adhesive is lighter fluid. I got a camera one time and the previous owner had um, put his name, he had his name on there with a label maker. And I peeled that off, but there was all kinds of residue on there. So uh, lighter fluid will take that off. What it does is it eats up the adhesive. It's a chemical reaction and it neutralizes it. And then you just wipe it off with a cloth and you're good. So that's another good thing is lighter fluid. This has a beautiful leather case. And for cleaning the leather cases, what I prefer to use is some saddle soap and then I'll use some shoe polish to clean in the brown spot. So some of this, the brown has been removed. It's worn off over the years. So I'll put some shoe polish and clean up the spots that are losing their shine. So with a kit like this, you can clean a lot of vintage cameras. All right, so that's your tips on how to clean vintage cameras. Thanks for watching my video about how to clean vintage cameras.